It has been a, a tough few days for people still without that power. Many of them are coming up with some creative ways to stay cool until the electricity is restored. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from one street in Sarasota where most of the homes are still without power. Erica? Good evening, Scott. Neighbors say there's only a handful of homes on this side of Waldemere Street that have restored power. The rest of them have been without electricity since Sunday, so some are going as far as sleeping in screened in porches in order to stay cool overnight. Welcome to my little apartment. This is my little reading area over here, and uh, this is where I've been sleeping, resting, reading when I can. Nancy Hiller evacuated Sarasota just before Hurricane Irma, but she returned days later to a home without power, making it tough to keep her house and animals at a comfortable temperature. A neighbor loaned me this, which really comes in handy with animals, so I can just leave the front door open while I'm here at least get some air in here. She's also trying to keep the cool air inside her styrofoam cooler and is keeping what's salvageable from her refrigerator inside of her freezer. Her neighbors are in the same boat. Hiller is still able to communicate with them by her cell phone because she can still charge it with a portable charger. Charged it up to 75%. So when I go to a friend's house later on, this and my laptop and another one of these will be charging. Hiller says the real challenge is once the sun goes down. It's hard to navigate through her house with just the moonlight. She says she made one of her best purchases after losing power in a previous hurricane. This light, I can hang it from the chandelier outside, the ceiling fan, and it illumines the entire room. And after days without power, Hiller admits it's a lifestyle she could follow, but during the winter months. She says it's taught her to appreciate the luxury of having electricity. My heart has expanded <laughs> from this whole experience. It's starting to sprinkle here on uh, Waldemere Street, so hopefully it'll get cooler for those without power. But Hiller tells us that the community has really come together for those without power. She tells us that one man has come to her house after a palm tree fell down on her roof. That person actually sawed it down manually so it wouldn't cause any further damage. She also tells us the neighbors with power have been coming forward and offering those without power to charge their phones, take a shower, or even spend the night. Reporting live in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.